In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial, we will create flat style character with noise texture. You will see how to create custom noise brush in seconds and will learn how to use it to add trendy noise to your artwork. To draw this flat style character, we will use Shape Builder tool, Pen tool and Ellipse tool. Then we'll apply gradients and we'll use our custom noise brush that will bring illustration to new level. We'll make it live and deep. You're watching TNT Tutorials. Let's move on and create a new document. Select Print, A4. Horizontal orientation, in advanced options select RGB and click on create. You can download sketch reference and colors by the link in the video description. Just create layers for them, place them like so and lock these layers. First of all we will create noise brush, so let's create new layer. Rename it to brush, press L for ellipse tool, draw ellipse. You should have similar result. We will use this ellipse just as border and we'll delete it later. Press N for Pencil tool, draw any kind of noise you want, like this for example. You'll be able to play with any values. Play with Cap mode, Join mode, with Stroke weight. Just watch these steps and you'll be able to create your own custom brush in few seconds. Select it, Window, Symbols, New Symbol. You can rename it to Noise, leave these settings as they are, click OK, deselect it. I will hide this layer so you won't be distracted. Take Symbol Sprayer tool, you can simply press Shift plus S, change diameter like so, press Enter. You can play with these values, I use 10 to 10 for this case, I leave all the settings as they are, just click a few times in the center. You can click one time or three times, just as you want. Now I will make this one a little bit smaller, like this. Now press Ctrl C, Ctrl F, make copied layer bigger, like this. You can rotate it if you want to. Ctrl C, Ctrl F again, make this copy even bigger, like so. Now you can change size of first layer if you want to, make it bigger for example or smaller, the same with second one. After you will be happy with results, you can delete this border, you can pick this third layer, object, expand, ok, then do the same, object, expand again, click ok, then press shift plus E for eraser tool, you can press enter to change eraser diameter, like this. And simply erase some part of third layer, like so. I will delete this first noise layer, select brush layer, window, brushes. Now click here, select all unused and delete them. Then select new brush, scatter brush, ok, rename this brush to noise 1. If you're going to experiment with your brushes, when you're creating brush, leave these settings as they are, just click OK. Right after this, press B for brush tool, pick your brush, and just draw a little line, like so. Now V for selection tool, select this line, double click on your noise 1 brush, click on preview, and now you can change these values and see how they apply it to your brush. Like this. I will use these values for our brush today. You can copy these settings or better play with them. And you will have better understanding of these setups. If you would like to change any proportions of your brush, you can do it anytime. Just select it again, double click here and change proportions. Now I will delete this line. If you would like to change your brush later, just hide it. I will delete it. So let's redraw this sketch with pen tool. Create new layer. Rename it to character or whatever you want. L for ellipse tool. Draw ellipse like this. Place it here. Rotate. A for direct selection tool. Move points like this. Just to have some custom shape. And not simple oval. 
zoom out, P4 pen tool, start to draw line from this point, make curved lines, use space for hand tool to navigate through your workspace, Just draw shape first and then edit it with direct selection tool. A for direct selection tool and change proportions here. Let's fix this point. As you can see, I don't have many points. So it's easy to manipulate this line. I think I can even delete this point. For this I need to move this one here. Change it like so. And change this handle to this. Let's draw another line. You can draw it like this first, then hold Alt and manipulate handles. We'll add this part of hand just a little bit later. First of all, draw base shape. You can draw point, then move it with direct selection tool and change it like so. To make sharp corner here when we are connecting points, just hold Alt. If you want to have handle here, P4 pen tool, hold Alt, drag it like so. Release it, hold Alt again, A for direct selection tool, and move handles. Now we need to cut this part, C for scissors tool, and simply click on this point. Now these points are not connected. Let's create shirt. V for selection tool, deselect this line, P for pen tool. Draw another one here. Deselect it. Now draw one more here. Just draw it like so. A for direct selection tool. And move this point here. To these points. Now we have three points in one place and they are not connected. That's what we want. To draw hair you can use pencil tool. Just press N. Draw hair like so. To have this result. You should have similar values. Just press Enter when you've selected Pencil tool, L for Ellipse tool, draw it here with Direct Selection tool. Change proportions just a bit. In this case we don't want Ideal Oval. Ctrl C, Ctrl F, make copied layer smaller, P for Pen tool, draw shape like this, hold Alt. Move this handle here and connect these points. Draw these objects. Let's begin to draw leg from this point. Make curved lines. Zoom in, A for direct selection tool, change anything you want here. P for pen tool, draw a line here. Let's draw another leg. Build the shape like this. Later we will hide it behind other layers. Draw a line. Now let's draw a shape here. A 
M for rectangle tool, build rectangle, change proportions and rotate it. A for direct selection tool, I will move this point here. Like so. When we have arms and legs drawn, we can change proportions to hands, because obviously we need to make them thinner. Like this. Make this one thinner also. Now to draw this chase lounge, draw one line here, then duplicate it. Like so. Draw a curved line, but don't connect these points. Now duplicate curved line, like this, then connect points, you don't need to select each point, go to properties and select connect selected anchor points. You can just select all these lines, press shift plus M for shape builder and click on this shape. Now you have them all connected. To build this part very quick, we will use 3D effect, L for ellipse tool, draw ellipse like so, M for rectangle tool, draw it here, select them both, shift plus M, hold alt, delete this part, A for direct selection tool, pick this line, delete it, effect, 3D, extrude and bevel, preview, Select isometric left, for example. Now rotate it like this, just to match our picture. I will change depth to 20 points for now. For now, let's click OK. And in properties panel, let's change stroke. Let's pick brighter color. Now click on this applied effect, preview, and you can continue to change it. After you change some value here, you need to click on preview again. I think I will leave this result. Let's try out how it looks. Let's change proportions here like so. Click on this applied effect. Preview. And select no shading. Click OK. Object. Expand appearance. Let's pick colors for these ones. Just use reference colors. Now what we need to do here is to apply shape builder. To separate some parts, first of all, we will need to separate this arm, because we will use Shape Builder to create this shirt, and this is possible that it will cut this arm. So P for Pen tool, just draw a line like this, select these lines, Shift plus M, and click on this part. Now select these lines, this line also, this one, select head also. We need to create part from this one and from this one. If Shape Builder is not working, that means that you need to overlap some lines. Pick these ones, like so. These ones are overlapping too. The thing is that lines should be ideally connected to each other, like this. But usually you don't have to waste time to do this, just overlap them, select them again. Shift plus M, let's separate this part, this one, and arm. Delete these unnecessary parts here, here also. Now we need to make object from these two lines, connect it with this shape. Let's just do it like so. Select this shape, C for scissors tool, click on this point. On this point, delete this line, A for direct selection tool, select these two points, click here to connect them, the same here, connect these points. Now we have connected this object. Now with pen tool, we need to create shape like this and connect these points. But now we can't do this, because this line is not allowing us to do this. So double click on this line, we're in isolation mode. P for pen tool and connect this line, like this. Double click somewhere to exit isolation mode. 
Now let's use Shape Builder for these two parts. Click on this part, select this one, this one also, Shift plus M, click on some of these parts. Now we will apply solid colors first, and after this we will apply gradients. We will apply solid colors just to get rid of all these lines. So let's pick all layers with skin color. Let's pick it from reference, darker color here. For these two, apply hair color, dark green for this layer, brighter green for this one. Bring these two down. Let's pick color for shirt. Bring it down also. Now let's use Shape Builder, select shirt, select arm, shift plus M, and just drag line like this. Just apply colors from reference. Let's bring this layer down. Now duplicate this one, like so. Select these two. Shift plus M. Hold Alt and delete this part. Now select only this one and apply a little bit darker color. Select these two strokes. Properties panel, stroke, round cap and round join. I will change width to 1 and 5 points. Pick this layer, pink color here. I will make this one smaller. Let's select these two strokes, Object, Expand, click OK. Select these two layers, Shift plus M, click on this part. Now select this object, right click, Ungroup. Apply bright color here. If you want to round corner here, P for Pen tool, just get rid of these points, A for Direct Selection tool, and round corner like so. I will pick darker color for these two and move them like so. Now select this object, this one, Shift plus N, hold Alt, delete this part, the same here, delete this part. If you need to add point P for Pen tool, just click to add point. If you want to make sharp corner, A for Direct Selection tool, hold Alt and drag handles like this. Let's pick color for this one. Right click, arrange, send to back. Now we can delete sketch layer and it's time to apply gradients. Select following layers, double click on gradient tool, linear gradient, select this gradient slider, color picker, pick this color first, then select this gradient slider and pick this color. Now let's pick each one of them, press G for gradient tool and change gradient direction. You can make gradient more contrast if you will place these markers closer to each other. Play with directions. Let's apply gradient for this one. The same here. Right click on this layer, arrange, bring to front. A for direct selection tool to change proportions here. Let's round corners for this object. Make it a little bit smaller. You don't need to apply gradients to each object, just see where it works well. You can add gradient just a little bit, just move it like so, and it will be almost invisible, just a little shading, like so. For Chase Lounge, let's use Radial Gradient, pick Colors, 
If you want to make bright colors closer to edge and dark color in the center, just click here to reverse gradient. Now play with proportions. You can rotate it like so. Make it smaller. Now let's use our brush, brushes, pick our noise brush and just draw it like this. Your computer might be running slow after this brush, so don't worry about that. Now let's change opacity and blending mode for this one. Properties. Let's change opacity to 45%. Then click on opacity. And change mode to multiply. Now we need to apply clipping mask here. Select this object. This one also. Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Unite them. Right click. Arrange, bring to front. Select this brush line also. Right click. Make clipping mask. To edit this brush line, you can click A for direct selection tool, move points, and you can also double click on it to enter clip in mask mode. Just change your brush like so. You can delete some points if you need to. Double click some on the workspace to exit isolation mode. If you have decided to change your brush, select it with direct selection tool, brushes panel, double click on this brush, and with preview button, you can change some values. I will click OK. If you have many lines in your work, that you have already created and you don't want to change them, you want to change exactly this line, just click leave strokes. Now let's draw brush here. Select these two objects, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, properties panel, unite them, open layers panel. I see that this layer is right here. Grab this brush layer, place it right here. Select them both, right click, make clipping mask. A for direct selection tool, pick this line. And if you want to pick settings from this line, I for eyedropper tool and click on it. You should not always apply clipping mask. We apply clipping mask only when we are drawing line on different objects. When you have only one object, just select this object. Click on this little icon here and select draw inside. Now brush tool, draw a line like this. A for direct selection tool, pick this line. I for eyedropper tool, pick settings from other line. Edit it with direct selection tool. To exit this mode, double click somewhere on the workspace, just the same as with clipping mask. And to enter this mode again, find this layer. If you can't find this layer, click here, locate object. This allows to quickly find object whenever it will be. So select this clipping mask, then click here on drawing modes again, draw inside. And you can draw in this object again. Select this one, drawing modes. Draw inside, brush tool, and just draw a line like this. A for direct selection tool, select this line, I for eyedropper tool, and pick settings from other line. Use direct selection tool to edit lines. Double click to exit this mode. The same with this object. Pick these lines and pick settings. You can create different brushes, you can create smaller ones, bigger ones, and use them all at the same time. 
I'm using one brush in this tutorial, just not to make it too complicated. I'm just showing you how to use brush and how to edit it. In some cases, draw inside mode is not available. So my recommendation to you is to create some shape, select needed shape and simply unite them. As you can see, now draw inside mode is available. So pick draw inside, brush tool and draw brush. You can make brush smaller by changing stroke weight. But I recommend you to create small, medium and large brushes and then use them. I will just do the same with other objects. In this case, I will make stroke weight smaller. I will change stroke weight here also. Like this. Select Chase Lounge layer, draw inside, brush tool, draw line like this, select this line, pick proportions from other line and you might want to change opacity. I will change it just a bit. Now it's time to create background. So let's make our artboard invisible, view, hide artboards. To make it visible again, just go to view and select show artboards. Create new layer. Rename it to background, bring it down, and for pencil tool, draw a shape like this. Click here to swap fill and stroke, double click on gradient tool, select linear, pick colors from color reference, change direction, and here we will apply grain noise effect. Ctrl C, Ctrl F, effect, texture, grain. Play with these values, intensity and contrast. Just don't make intensity value too big. You can see this distortion here. Click OK. Properties, Opacity and change mode to Multiply. For example, you can play with blending modes and choose which one will work for you better. Let's decrease opacity here just a bit. My goal for today was to encourage you to experiment with custom noise brushes it takes seconds to create them with method that you've learned today, so just draw sketch, keep it simple, avoid complex shapes, then use pen tool, shape builder, add gradient and then noise brush. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below, let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials. See you in next videos.